Yep. Hello friends. So I have a LARP game on Saturday. We're leaving Friday night. It's currently half past five on Tuesday. I'm working the rest of the week and I don't have a costume. I mean, I probably do. If I actually sat and thought about it, I could probably find something in the vast quantity of LARP kit I already own that would work. But I don't want to do that. I want to make something new. So let's rock and roll. <laughs> So this is the pattern which I cut out last night. I have made some small adjustments. This is um, McCall's 4745, which is the American Civil War uniforms. If you're currently wondering, Ash, why you're British, why do you have American Civil War costumes in your stash? The answer to that is, this is the closest commercially available dupe for a Star Wars Imperial officer's uniform. That's why I have this in my pattern collection. We're making something else out of it. Oh, this is a problem. Here are my fabrics. This grey, I think I want to make a cloak out of. Well, that's three metres of the grey. I'm thinking a half circle cloak. And then this navy is going to be the coat, the pattern for which it's, it's here. And that is my lining because I needed some lining and there was Halloween fabric, so really what was I supposed to do? I can't decide if, because I've worked with this stuff before, this is called like what we have all been waiting for or something, it's the stuff you get from Fab Fabrics by Maggie on eBay, it's mostly polyester, there's a little bit of wool in there, it doesn't really fray, so if I wanted to I could just flatline this. But I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I'm not sure that I would bother lining it if I wasn't going to hide the seams. So we'll figure that out, but it's not going to change my cutting out. We'll just do that. The next question is, do I want to cut this out first, which will take forever, or do I want to cut this cloak out first? Because I'm probably going to hand finish the edges on... We're cutting the cloak out first. Decided. I've pinned out four pieces and I've realised I need to do this again because this print is directional and if I cut it out the way I've currently got it, for half of the coat the skeletons will be upside down and that will bother me. Also I cut out my cloak and I got radius and diameter mixed up so my neck hole is way too big but I'm going to figure that out in a bit. Good morning. It's nearly half past ten on Wednesday. I'm supposed to be doing my actual job, so in a bit I'm going to have to go back to staring at spreadsheets. I feel like I might have made an error. I very confidently cut out the jacket in the navy and the cloak in the grey, and now I'm not 100% sure that that is actually the way around that I wanted. Although the lining I picked was blue, so it must be. Yeah, I'm just going to have to sit with that for a minute. Crisis averted. I googled it. I can't make the jacket grey because the confederates are grey. I should have been tipped off by the fact that the pattern envelope is a large picture of a guy in a blue uniform with a small inset picture of a guy in a grey uniform. Anyway, as my Massachusetts educated partner will tell you, the confederates didn't really have a uniform, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the blue. We're gonna keep going. Okay, so the cloak is basically hemmed. What I need to do now is make a collar, and I'm going to make the collar in fake fur, but it needs a backing, so we're going to do it on this. This is the same way I actually drafted the cloak itself. So, I've got a bit of chopping board under here. Get a measure out. I'm going to get it right this time. Diameter, not radius. The hardest part is getting the pushpin to stick in a solid bamboo chopping board. Okay. get the basic idea.
then as you always do with anything symmetrical, that's supposed to be symmetrical. You fold it in half so both sides match. Cool, so. And we have the best fake fur in the world. And I'm just gonna check which direction the pile is going. I don't think it's gonna fit on one of these. No, it's not. That's annoying. I think we're best off like that. Because it's fake fur, we cut it with a scalpel. There we go. Come on. So, basically, what you do is you use a scalpel to cut the back fabric, not the pile. And it means that the amount of fallout you get is kind of minimal. Not invisible. Like, it's not nothing. It's never going to be nothing. Fake fur. What are you going to do? You don't end up with bits of fur everywhere the way you do if you use scissors. Okay, so we have a collar, we have a cloak, we're now going to attach the two together, which means I have to use these things, which I hate, but my pins will not go through the fur, so... I had a long think about how I was going to solve the neckline being too big problem. I'm going to gather it. Don't know why that took me so long. So this is going right side to wrong side, so that when I flip it to the other side, the fur will... Trust the process. Trust the process. All right, trying to break my sewing machine. I have absolutely no idea if Moon Focus or not. I have to remember that I don't have a mic on and I can't just chuck stuff around because this will be picking up everything, including my computer wearing in the... Anyway, cloak is done. Can I show you the cloak? I'll show you the cloak in a minute. Cloak is done. That took most of today, at least when I wasn't working. It's now the evening and we're moving on to the jacket. So this is the sleeves. This is the bodice. Do you call it a bodice when it's a men's coat? Anyway, those two I think are going to be pretty straightforward in that I'm going to make up sleeves, make up sleeve lining, combine, make up bodice, attach sleeves, make up bodice lining. But then we get to the complicated part because we have the skirts. I don't know what to do with these because I actually have to read the instructions. I can't just bang them together because there's pleats and there's back vents and I do want the back vents I think. I'm gonna properly bag line these as in sew around the outside turn it inside out uh, as opposed to the sleeves and the what I'm calling the bodice because I am going to I think hand fit the lining into those so it's that little bit just shorter than the outside because I hate myself. Well, at least it's only Wednesday. Crack on. Okay, friends, it is basically nine o'clock on Wednesday. I have a bodice, a bodice lining, two sleeves, two sleeve linings, the skirts and the skirt linings. Turns out I was wrong. There's pleats, there's no vents. The instructions for the pleats were really weird, so I'm just gonna do it my way. Can't go any further with this until I've ironed it. And I'm not turning the iron on at nine o'clock at night. So I guess I'm gonna go sit downstairs and do embroidery. Oh yeah, did I not mention? A couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I decided I was gonna make a shirt with an embroidered collar and cuffs. And then a couple of days ago, I realized that would be perfect for 
this event only I haven't finished the embroidery so we'll see if that happens <laughs> why am I like this <sighs> it's Thursday I'm on my lunch break so we have a bodice piece all made up we have a bodice lining all made up we have a we have a collar that needs to go into this we have two sleeves which are lined they need to go into this and then the skirts need to go into this but I need to figure out these are a bodge job I think I put some of the panels in upside down they're not quite maybe what I had hoped for but that's fine because we don't have any time helps if I line up the right seam these need pleats putting in and I could get the pattern out again and mark them up according to you know the instructions or I could just figure it out so we are figuring it out <laughs> this is also not pressing quite as well as I remember it pressing which is kind of annoying but you know whatevs something very weird has happened here hang on you know people sometimes ask me why don't you get an antique sewing machine and my answer to that is look at this this is one two three four layers of coating material a couple of layers of cotton full of pins there's seams in there so some of those are you know eight layers didn't even f***ing blink my sewing machine was 15 pounds from a charity shop it is a steel bodied 1960s singer who needs an industrial when you've got this okay well um now i have to take the pins out and i have to put the sleeves and collar into a coat that now has the skirts on because i got carried away the smart thing to do would be to unpick everything and put the coat skirts in the right way up but we don't have time for that so i guess we're doing this <coughs> okay it is late on wednesday and the coat is pretty much done this is not the belt i'm going to use but it's the one that i've got if you are like ash this doesn't have any closures no it does not i'm not going to do any at least not for this event definitely not this belt okay so it's okay the main problem i have at the moment is that it's a bit bubbly it's just not sitting quite as nicely as i'd like it's fine it's not perfect i'm going to beat the crap out of it with an iron see if that solves it if it doesn't i think i might be top stitching around the edges and then we also have the cloak which is actually pretty great not gonna lie pretty damn good the inevitable heavy cloak problem of it kind of throttles you so i think if i get time i might put straps to go forward so it's not all sitting on my neck also this fur collar again is a bit bubbly uh, i did try and press it and i melted quite a lot of the fur so we won't do that again yeah i think some tapes on this so i can just take it attach them here and then put them under my arms and tie in the back just take the weight forward that might be very smart it's a great cape though it also mean that this uh didn't keep flipping up so you could actually see the nice catch that i put on it and would hold this in place so i don't have to show the skeleton lining to anyone unless i actually want to yes good okay ironing and then i actually probably need to get on with the embroidery because that's not done yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I, I'm just going to be a lot happier with it if I can get it to lay nicely. In particular, this bit is stretched weirdly, and I just need to sort it out. Okay, cool. Time to iron. Guess who was clever and forgot to film an outro? Okay, well, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, the shirt didn't get done. If you guessed the shirt wasn't getting done, judge me in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this small sort of vloggy interlude. We will be back to more structured content very, very soon. And let's hopefully not do this again 
too soon. It's not like I have an event at the end of October, but I've made all the kit for that. I've made all the kit for that, right? 